with while I stamping. Thank you for stopping by my craft room today. So I have the third in the series of my Mother's Day card series and this is a super fast and easy card to make. So if you're a beginner crafter and you're not really sure where to start but you would like to make your own card for Mother's Day, this is the one for you. And if you're a seasoned crafter and you're wanting something quick and simple, then this one will be great for you as well. So let me jump on in and show you what you're going to need to get started. Here's just a little bit closer look at the card for today. I think this card is so soft and pretty, but it's simple at the same time. So I think you're really going to enjoy making this card. So what I've used to make mine is I'm starting off with a card base of powder pink and this is cut to five and a half by eight and a half. I will score and fold it at four and a quarter. A piece of whisper white that is four by five and a quarter and a piece of the myths and magic glimmer paper that is three by four. I'm going to be using some of this beautiful powder pink shimmer ribbon which by the way when you place an order with me during the month of March for $75 or more you will get a free roll of shimmer ribbon for making that purchase and there are four colors to choose from and you get to choose the color that you want. For my ink I'm going to be using some Memento Tuxedo Black and some Smoky Slate. My adhesives is the multi-purpose liquid glue, some snail, and some mini glue dots. I'm going to be using a couple of my Layering Ovals Framelits dies. Now I'm going to have a list of everything that I'm using on the instruction sheet that you can get for this project. And I will tell you in that list which size of the scallop and the plain oval that I've used. And what I've done is I've just taped them together so that I can cut out a frame from my um, glimmer paper here. I'm also going to use a couple of my Stampin' Blends markers. I've got my dark pink pirouette and my old olive. I've got two stamp sets that I'm using today. One of them is a mother's flare. I'm going to be using this high heel and the purse and this sentiment right here. And then the other stamp set, it comes from the petal palette. And all I'm going to be using from that one is this little floral image right here. For some embellishment, I have got my pearls. So let's jump on in and get started. I'm going to start off with my Smoky Slate ink and I'm going to do some stamping off. So I have a little scratch pad over here. I'm going to stamp off once and then stamp onto my card base. And I'm just going to stamp a few of these over here randomly. Then I'll grab my little purse and do it with that too. And then last, I'll take my little floral image. I don't have to stamp off on this one because of the way this stamp is made. It's going to give me a light image anyway. So I'm just filling in any of the gaps here. I'm going to take my layering ovals and place these on top of my glimmer paper. I'm going to go to my Big Shot and get these cut out and I'll be right back. So after I've run that through the Big Shot, what it gives me is this awesome little frame right here. So I'm going to use my Tombow Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue and just put some on the back there. Bring in my card base or my card front. Then I want to put this in the center but a little bit closer to the top. And what I think of when I see this little frame laying on here is a mirror. That's what it made me think of. And then because the sentiment says you make motherhood look good, that really just made it feel like a mirror. So I've got my sentiment inked up here and I'm going to get that stamped right in the center of that frame. Looks good. Now I'm going to grab my Stampin' Blends and I'm going to take my powder pink and just color in these little 
flower blossom right here and then my old olive and just add a little bit of a color to those leaves oh, that was my oldest son sneezing whenever he comes home and it turns spring here he always has his allergies flaring up so I'm sure you heard him sneeze in the background all right I'm taking my pearls now and I'm basically just placing those in the centers of everywhere that I stamped that little flower. All right, so I've got that part done. What I'm going to do now is stick this down to my card base. So what I'm going to do now is take this gorgeous shimmer ribbon. And I'm just going to tie it in a bow. You want to leave yourself some good long tails those are longer than what I need them to be but that is okay because I'm going to get the look that I'm after and then trim off what I don't need to use now first of all I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of this bow and then stick that down right at the top of this little frame Then I want to make this bow look kind of ruffled in the wind, so to speak. So I'll put a glue dot down, and then I'll take my bow and kind of pucker it up a little bit. And I'll do that about three times. Oops. I'm going to do that on both sides. Then I'll take my ribbon and trim off the parts that I'm not going to use. So wouldn't you agree with me that this is a very quick and easy card to put together? So if you're a beginner crafter or a seasoned crafter, this is a great card for you because it is quick and easy to put together. If you find that you need any of the supplies that I've used to create this card, you can order them at my online store, which is wallastamping.com forward slash order SU. I'm also going to have a list of everything that I've used in the description box that's below the video as well as at the end of the video and I'll also have the measurements of everything at the end of the video too. Also, don't forget that you can go over to my blog at wallastamping.com. There will be instructions there for how to create this card. There will be a list of supplies over there as well. While you're there getting the instructions, make sure that you sign up for my email newsletter. You'll get a free gift for signing up as well as exclusive tutorials and promotions from me. I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends who would love paper crafting. I hope that you enjoyed this card and that you'll find it fun to make and that you'll come back and see me again. Thanks and have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.